And now the first members of the Melbourne Airs to form a quartet are about to take the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Yarra Blend. Thank you, you're very kind. How about having to follow the jazz band? Wow. <laughs> you know, uh, the electronic age has given us lots. It's given us television, it's given us personal computers, it's given us microphones, which we sorely need. But one thing it's taken away from families as such is the ability to entertain one another in their homes. No longer is there anybody sitting around the piano, Uncle Joe imitating old Jolson and Aunt Flo getting up and, and doing her um, Shirley Temple bit. And the catch cry for the lower, last part of this 20th century from our children is, I'm bored. <laughs> it's sad, isn't it? <laughs> Do you recall the time when the fellas we knew would get together and sing a few? There'd be laughter and cheer as his friend would draw near to share an old song or a story to hear. How the times have passed by since the last time we met to sing once again in our old quartet. So I'm asking you now, would you pass it along? Could we get together for one more old song? Is there some time we can get together and sing an old song to share once again those days way back then how could it have been so long we drifted apart as the years passed us by now we strong memory and tears to my eye. We still get the same old feeling. Would it be the same or would it all be wrong? Is there some time we can get together and see You're right there, doesn't it? <laughs> now, oh, I've got a message. Uh, Judy Brent. Judy Brent, are you up there in the audience? I know you're up there somewhere. I'm terribly sorry, but we can't send Cheerios for you tonight. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I just did. <clears throat> Actually, I was talking to Judy just the other day, and um, um, I said, Judy, there's a rumour going around that the postman has made love to every woman in the street except one. And she looked at me in the eye and she said, yeah, that'll be that bitch down at number 52. <laughs> <coughs> this song, any Susies in the audience? Susans? <coughs> blow, me a, blow me a bee and we'll get out of here. Susan. Mm. What a guy. Shakespeare, she's a wow and how, though all of you may know her 
or two. Well, I'd like to shout right now. Right now, if you knew Susie like I know Susie. Oh, oh, what a gal. There's none so classy as this fair lassie. Oh, holy Moses, what a chassis. We went riding and she didn't bog. But back from Yonkers, I'm the one that had to walk. If you knew Susie like I know Susie. Oh, what a gal. Susie has a perfect reputation. No one ever saw her on a spree. Not me. Nobody knows where Susie goes. No, nobody knows but me. Dresses and nice tight dresses. Oh, oh, what a future she possesses out in public. Oh, how she can your back get her in the parlor. You would think a wall was on if you knew Susie, just like I know Susie. Oh, what a gal, my gal. Oh, what a gal. Thank you, Yarra Blinn. That's Arthur, David, Steve, and Ian. And now, another quartet of lovely ladies who would...